Hey everyone, Witzer here. I'm gonna do some guild war. Just gonna attack the highest ones. So normally I start with the lowest, but now I'm gonna start with the highest. So I'm gonna do this with the new he hero running for the fun of it. So let's see how this is gonna go. I didn't use Cupid Dizzins in this one because I wanted to make it a little bit more fair. As you can see, he's gonna go nuts here. Without the Cupid buff, it's no problem that my Demogorgon died. We still have the tree in case we need to revive them. We have 51% already. Yeah, as some people requested, our guild is really in increasing might lately. So soon we will have, I think we have like 230,000 might battles. So that will be fun, so we have 100%, time to revive the heroes, 540 points, that's what happens without Cupid, you lose some heroes sometimes, but no problem, so let's get into the second fight. We are fighting decent mites this time, so it's not too bad. As you can see, 213 and a bunch of 200 plus. So we are fighting against the second highest right now, 213 might. So he has Warlock, Skull Knight, looks like a free to play player. So I'm gonna put my tanks in front so Ronan can do damage in the back. I just got my Demogorgon up to 8 of 8 War Gods, so the heroes will vanish even faster now. Also, in the end of the video, I did expeditions. So, if you want to watch Ronin and expeditions, I did a few suicide battles, but it was fun, so I don't care. And we still managed to do it completely. So, time to fight number 3. So let's see where he is at. Uh, 208,000 mites. Still higher than mine, so. So he has a lot of guards. A warlock also, but he doesn't have 5 revite, so. Well, it wouldn't matter anyway, I think, so. So let's see. Ah, so a little nick hidden. So. I'm gonna put my Anubis first to kill the troops. Now I can put my Michael to tank most of it. And time to just do some damage here. And bye bye heroes. <laughs> it's funny really. Demogorgon is really 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 overpowered I think. For guild wars. So sometimes I'm doing it just without him to make it a little bit more fun. But I guess once we are playing 250,000 might players, we will need him. Well, you don't need him, but I don't have a double evolved warlock yet, so... Since I had Demogorgon, I didn't really bother with him. So, 202,000 might. So let's see what he has. Ooh, Dragax, double evolved, that's weird. That's, that you don't see too often. So as you can see again, I put my Anubis, Michael, and Ronin. Now here come the beams. I don't think the beams do, do pretty do bad damage actually. It's not amazing, but he's not 8 of 8 Wargod or anything. So I think with 8 of 8 Wargod, he will be pretty decent. So... If there is something you want to see in Guild Wars, let me know so I can make a video of that in the next time. So 523, so now it's 202,000 might, that's gonna be the fifth one. Just gonna try it without Demogorgon and Ares. So let's see how this is gonna go. So Anubis. Of course we have to use Ronan. Let's see. 
Here they come. Invisible. Well, she was invincible, but that would be a little bit too overpowered. Nope, that's not gonna work without Timogorgon and Ares. The Ares debuff is so strong. So, let's try again and do it for real this time. That's the cool thing about Guild Wars, I think, that you can just retreat under 50%. It's good to practice battles. So, time for Ares and Michael, and there we go. Ooh, Michael died. Interesting. Well, the other heroes are still alive, so... And we are thanking his Skull Knight, while Demogorgon is procking on the other heroes. So it shouldn't really be a problem. So, aha! Look what he's doing! He's attacking in the back! Sneaky! Poor Skull Knight! <laughs> That's funny, really, that he's staying in the back. He's like, please don't touch me, so he's gonna play it safe. Skull Knight revived. So I'm just gonna use my tree here. Otherwise I wasn't gonna use him anyway, so... Might as well kill Skull Knight. Not that we need it, because it didn't have any buildings there on that side. So... This was Guild War, 5 clean wins I think, so it wasn't too bad against 200 plus mites. So I hope the next time we will have higher mites, so let's do some expeditions real fast. This shouldn't take too long, just gonna try some fun with Ronin. It's risky because he is not allowed to die, and if he dies once we are done, so sucks. He doesn't die here. He's doing really well. But they were not evolved, so... Kinda makes sense that it was easy. Same here. Gonna put the Dredric in front, because... He's gonna soak up the damage, and now comes Ronin, but... They were already dead. He's actually a good wall killer also. You can get bonuses if you destroy as many walls as possible. He would be good for it, like a flat. So, let's try and attack in the pocket. Here he comes. Wow, he did a lot of damage. Now, just clean it up. Little Nick procs and it's done. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this is gonna be easy also. I think the first like six battles are super easy. And then it gets a little bit harder. Still, it's a lot of hunter badges, so I don't mind it. But I wish you could actually do like 20 battles or something. It keeps increasing might. That you end up playing like against 250,000 my players. And at some point you're gonna lose your heroes anyway. That would be interesting. And if you complete it, get some fame reward or something. I'm not sure. So here. We are just gonna get go for the middle. It's uh, All his walls are around him, which is really weird, which makes no sense to me. He wants me to kill his walls. And now Ronin is procking everyone. Okay, we are halfway there. So I'm just gonna put the Ronin on the right here. I'm just gonna speed him up and see how fast he's gonna run. Now. Oh, he's out of sight, damn it. Gonna have to be careful that my pumpkin duke doesn't die at the bottom. Gotta be close. Hope Gulen doesn't proc. Oh, he did. It's gonna be close, I think. Yeah, we managed to keep him alive. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna put them in all in the middle. So let's see how this is gonna go. Could be a big fail. 
Oh boy, we have 50%. Oh, we're losing many heroes. Well, we still get the 100%. Time to use some different heroes here. We still have some decent backup heroes. So, shouldn't really be a problem still. So we have two more fights, let's put up the other pumpkin look, Golem, Trixie, as you can see it's still a decent team. Time to put Golem as a tank, and the good thing is we still have the Cupid. Wow what a mess, so much area damage, wow look at them run. It's funny how fast they can actually run when with pumpkin duke, duke stacks. This is actually a really easy fight. They made it safe for me. So if you want anything else with running in a video, also let me know. So I can make that video also for you guys. So I want to say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video, bye everyone.